The next question, Assalamu alaikum sir, my name is Naeem, I am a college student from Bangladesh. My question is, is Satan responsible for all human mistakes? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran in Surah Fatir, chapter number 35, verse number 18. وَلَا تَزِرُ وَازِرَةٌ وِزْرَ أُخْرَى No soul shall bear the burden of another soul. So each and every human being, he is responsible for his or her actions. And we know the story of Iblis, wherein he was so righteous that he was raised to the levels of the angels. And when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded the angels to bow down to Adam, peace be upon him, Iblis refused and he said that I have been created from fire and Adam has been created from clay. So I am superior to Adam, peace be upon him. So this was the moment wherein Satan he deviated and he asked for respite from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and this is mentioned in the glorious Quran in Surah Araf chapter number 7 verse number 14 to 17 wherein he tells Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that give me respite till the day of judgment and I will misguide all the human beings. I will come from their front, from behind them, from their right and from their left. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepted this request of Iblis, of Satan. And he always wants to tempt and whisper into the hearts of human beings. So we human beings, we are responsible for our actions. Satan, he is merely whispering into the hearts and into the minds of human beings. Satan, he is not holding our hand. He is not forcing us and telling us to do something wrong. He is merely whispering. But it is we who are doing the wrong deeds. It is we who are responsible for our actions. So Satan, he is merely whispering. And we human beings, we are responsible for our actions. That's the reason whenever we get any evil thought, we should immediately recite, Auzu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajeem. I seek refuge in Allah from Satan the accursed.